Hi everyone. So today we're going to be informing you on how meteorologists predict the weather. It sounds like a very complicated topic, but it's actually quite simple as NOAA breaks it down um, with six tools that meteorologists typically use. So I'm credible to speak on this because I've done extensive research and found points that back up all of my claims. So the six tools that meteorologists use is the Doppler radar, satellite data, radio sounds, automated surface observing systems or ASOS, supercomputers, and something called AWIPS, which is Advanced Weather Interactive Processing Systems. So my first point is that humans rely heavily on computers, and that includes forecasting the weather. So described by Chad Opadhai in colleagues in 2022 studies, he actually said that the applications of machines have accelerated scientific discovery, including the forecasting of climate variability and weather patterns. The first machine that meteorologists typically use is a supercomputer, which just feeds in data from a bunch of other things, such as Doppler radar and satellite data. Um, all of this helps create guidelines used for forecasting. Um, this information comes from NOAA in a 2017 study. Another processing thing that uh, I talked about previously was the AWIPS, which actually helped develop the graphics for all of the forecasting, including watches and warnings that we might see. It's super nice to have all these computer models, but it's also very nice to have something on the ground um, to help us predict and forecast the weather. So the most common one that I'm sure we all know is a Doppler radar. There are giant towers all over the United States. NOAA claims that there are 159 across the country altogether. This is typically what we see on TV when the weatherman is forecasting the weather. Um, it's just a giant picture of your area, it could be a state or a city, but they typically measure debris, um, any type of rotation, so tornado signatures that we might see, wind speed, direction, and any sort of precipitation, whether it be water, ice, or snow. Another tool on the ground is the ASOS, which measures um, weather from Earth's surface. So that includes sky conditions, surface visibility, and the temperature. Um, so all of those on the ground are super nice to have. But there are also more tools way high up in the sky that meteorologists use to help forecast weather. The first one is a satellite. We know there's hundreds if not thousands of satellites owned by a bunch of different countries just floating up in space. All of that data is being extracted down to meteorologists in those supercomputers I mentioned earlier. They measure weather from space as well as Earth's atmosphere. And then the last tool that meteorologists use are radio sounds, which are essentially weather balloons, those giant balloons that you see, they float way up into the upper stratosphere of the earth and they're collecting stuff such as air pressure, air temperature, humidity, and they can also detect wind speed and wind direction. So as you can see, predicting the weather really isn't that difficult with all the tools that meteorologists have available to them.